Well, hey guys, Whiskey 3 Charlie Tango, W3CT, your good old friend Jack, out here at the US 1409. Now, I had a viewer, and if I find his name, I'll put it up here, um, a, a comment on my recent antenna build. And he had a legitimate question. He didn't know if his Yezu radio will be able to tune this wire. So let's take a look first and, and just give you a reminder of the wire itself. So the wire is the, I don't know if you can see it up there or not. So right up there, okay. All right, so that's the nine to one. That's my nine to one, nine dollar on none, okay. Nine dollars. Anyway, and I'll link the build to that at the end of this. But what he wanted to know was, here's how I ran it today. So I ran in the tree. I like to keep my feed point high. Sometimes I do put on a picnic table, but not, I haven't with this antenna. I usually put it up in the tree with a paracord. You see my coax running down. And the wire is running that way to my DX Commander 10 meter mass. That's about 33, I guess it's roughly 33 feet in air is, is where that wire is sitting right now. Okay. I just did an activation here. I had 30 CUSOs in an hour on that antenna. So it's working really, really well. But the viewer, the gentleman's question was, what is the SWR reading on it just by the antenna itself? Now you guys know I run this through my G90. And I use that G90's tuner, which tunes it up very well. Today, as a matter of fact, I was on 40, I was on 30, and I was on 20 meters. And uh, it works well on all those bands with the G90. So what I did was, I told him I would bring out my Nano VNA here, okay? And we're gonna try to be able to see this screen on this thing somehow here to show you, and I don't believe it's gonna be resonant or even low on any frequency actually. But, let's see if we can't get a view of this here without having too much glare in it. I'm gonna turn it on. My initial sweep here, Actually, believe it or not, the initial sweep that you can see, these dips, this is going from uh, 40, so it's going from 7 megahertz to 30 megahertz, okay? So it's encapsulating all the bands across there. Now, if I roll this wheel down, where's my wheel at? I'm trying to find where my marker is. There it is. Okay, so at that low dip right there, it's 1.3, and that looks like it's at 10 megahertz. Okay, so that's the lowest point right there, 1.3 on 10 megahertz. Now, this is without a tuner. This is just straight off that wire. All right, so what he was interested in was, obviously, well, I don't even know if I can go back here. He was interested in 7 megahertz. It's showing an SWR of 10, okay? So it's pretty darn high. Where is the other dip at? So the other dip, believe it or not, I'm trying to get down here, trying to see if you can see this on the screen. I know it's pretty hard. The other dip there is a 1.2. Believe it or not, that's it. 20, like 22 megahertz, kind of weird. All right, I do have some presets to kind of show you here. So if I go to my recall, go to recall, let's pull up just a 40 meter band. So yeah, you can see it's way high there. It's like 10, the SWR is 10 point, or yeah, 11, like 11.9. So you're gonna have to be able to tune this thing down, okay? Let's look at the um, 20 meter band is this one. Now you're getting a 2.3, okay? 2.3 on the nine to one random wire antenna with no tuner. If you can see that, 2.3, okay? Not bad, I mean, not great, but you could work with that for sure. 15 meters, check out 15 meters. A 1.3 without a tuner. So the antenna's working. His question was, being it's a 58-foot wire, you know, how well would it tune up on 40 meters? Again, with the G90, it works just fine. 
Now let's go to 10 meters. In 10 meters, we're at 1.8. Okay, if you can see that. Again, I don't know if I can get this any better or not in, in the view here, but it's kind of hard. It's a 1.8 there, so. Yeah, it even surprises me that it's actually pretty flat, or I mean, you know, usable on 15. Like, usable 15 is, like I said, 1.3. Yeah, 1.3 without a tuner, so that's pretty good. 20 meters again is 2.3, okay? When we go up to 40 meters, yeah, we're looking at 12 point something. So yeah, it, it is a little short, I guess, for 40 meters. If it was longer, a longer wire would probably be okay. Probably help that SWR come down some, I would think. Um, but hey, you know. Uh, as long as you have a tuner, you'll be able to tune it. So I don't know about the Yezu radios. I don't have a Yezu radio. Um, let's go back to recall here. So yeah, anyway. And if you don't have a Nano VNA or an antenna analyzer, which, guys, the antenna analyzers are crazy expensive. I was going to buy one recently, but I got a couple other purchases coming uh, my way that I figured I better wait. So... <laughs> Um, before I buy that, but this has been a, a lifesaver. I mean for 50 bucks um, You know, I did watch a guy's video on how to configure this thing and save presets uh, Everything's pre-calibrated. It makes it a lot easier. It makes it really nice when you're in the field So I mean, I wish I would have had a couple more presets on this one, but it is it is what it is You can change it whenever you want so um, But yeah, so I just wanted to show you that where the dips are again we're looking at 12 point something for 40 meters. 20 meters, I'm looking at 2.3. That's without a tuner. It's just sitting here by itself on the Nano VNA. 15 meters is 1.3. Again, I don't know if you can see this or not. I wish I would have this on my computer like I did on a prior video. You can see it a lot better. And 1.9, I guess it is. I don't got my glasses. 1.9, let's call it for, tw uh, for 10 meters. So... There you go. So anyway, all right, my little selfie stick here. I think I'm going to be needing a new one pretty soon. Anyway, guys, so yeah, um, that's it. I mean, I just wanted to show you that. That's the random wire antenna I built for nine bucks. Uh, it's 58 foot of wire, 58 feet of wire. Um, somebody from Europe said, boy, Jack, I really love how you use meters. To be quite honest with you, it's easier for me to measure meters and centimeters and millimeters than it is to worry about, you know, feet and eighteenth of an inch or, you know, three quarters. Three quarters isn't bad or, you know, but guys, I don't know. It's just easier to read it. But anyway, this one, and I don't know what that, I, I put it up here. 58 feet of wire equals this many meters. But, um, yeah, it's exceptionally well. Um, yesterday I was out here at the park and I made... 33 cusos on it, you know, in no time. 40 meters was hot yesterday morning. Uh, today wasn't bad, though. Between 20 meters, I didn't get any contacts. 40 meters and 30 meters, though, I got 30 contacts in like an hour. So it's pretty good off that antenna. Um, I just like building them. You know, I like building them, seeing what they'll do. Uh, and I always tell you guys, keep a backup in your car. I probably got, right now, I probably got probably i'm thinking four different antennas in my car right now most of them just wires obviously i put them up different configurations uh you know i got a, another random wire in there i think it's a 70 nope it's not 71 foot what is that i don't remember i got another random wire in there with another nine to one unun i also carry my uh my vertical antenna i love uh one of the walt specials uh the vertical antennas you guys have seen me use it in the field and I just run it up my DX Commander mast and lay out four elements, and that thing rock and rolls too, man. With a 9 to 1 on none, it's a good antenna. And then I have my Wolf River coil, which is always in the car, which I used yesterday to do an activation, not here, but another park. So, all right, guys, well, I hope this helps you. And to the gentleman that asked, thank you for the question, because you know what? Questions is what sparks uh, all YouTubers. You know, it gives us a little bit of food for thought of like, what can I talk about? What should I talk about? And, um, yeah, you know, what kind of videos can I make? So, hopefully you're enjoying these videos. Thanks to all the subscribers out there, guys. You guys are building this community like, like wildfire, man. I am so happy to have all you on board with me. Um, you know, 
anything or anything honestly uh, and you guys may see some commercials in the videos anything the videos are making I'm just rolling that you know a little bit of pocket change right back into the hobby and buying new things to talk about new things to build for the channel so it, it helps out a lot to do that so again I don't want anything I don't need anything from this I just like to do these videos uh, because this is my ham radio journey but more than anything Hit that subscribe button. Give me a big thumbs up. That's the best way you can support these videos. I appreciate that. It gets them pushed into that algorithm and more people can see them. More people can hear about good old Jack and my hand reader journey. Well, guys, take care. Now we'll talk to you next time. This is Whiskey 3 Charlie Tango, W3CT, your good old friend Jack. This is my hand reader journey. Guys, 73 is to you out there. Hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope to catch all of you on the airway at some point. Take care, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye for now.